climate change is more than just saving sea turtles. Believe it or not, there is rampant injustice perpetuated on humans as well. Today we're going to be talking about environmental racism, which some people think is a joke. Environmental racism is the idea that hazards are disproportionately allocated to people of color, most commonly black and brown communities. Studies have even found that high-earning black people are more exposed to polluted air than low-earning white people, showing that race is the major contributing factor and not just income. How exactly could someone's race determine their air quality or water quality? Some factors to consider include redlining, NIMBY, and the degradation of environmental pollution. Because of these factors, polluting industries are able to be concentrated in black and brown communities, which historically are unable to effectively advocate for themselves. With little oversight, these businesses can profit as people get sick. As the race to decarbonize begins, it's important that minority communities who already face the highest negative health impacts from pollutants are at the forefront because 